Hello from Colgate Spark. My name is Kiono, and today we're going to show you how to do something special. With COVID-19 going on, a lot of us are stuck inside, and it can be hard to find ways to pass the time. However, we have a way to make at least one of your days a lot less boring. We're going to show you an experiment you can do right at home with things you probably have lying around your kitchen. It's called Rainbow Milk, and the end result is exactly what you'd expect. The goals of this experiment are to not only create an awesome surprise for your eyes, but to also teach you about certain scientific processes, such as hydrophobic and hydrophilic interactions, the functions of surfactants, and the way that soap works. I'm sure you're probably wondering what all these big words mean, but don't worry. We'll be explaining them throughout the video. I'm going to turn it over to my friend Janet now for a list of materials that you need to complete the experiment. Enjoy! Thanks, Kiono. Before we get started, safety comes first. Please make sure you have an adult with you during the entire experiment. Please note any allergies to the materials before beginning. Be careful using the dye as it can stain your clothes and skin. Please wash your hands immediately if it gets on your skin. Lastly, do not drink the milk. Please have the adult pour the milk down the drain. Let's begin. Here's what you'll need. Some cotton swabs, a small shallow bowl or dish, a cup of milk, whole milk works best, food coloring, dish soap, and for an optional experiment later, a variety of different milks such as 2%, skim, or non-dairy. I'll bring it over to Sebastian to show us the procedures. Thank you so much, Janet, for that list of materials. Now comes the fun part. Let's actually do the experiment. The first step is to cover the bottom of our bowl completely with milk. Next, let's take some of that soap and pour it into a little side cup. We want to make sure that this doesn't get messy and that everything stays in one place. And now comes the fun part. Let's color our milk. So right now we have four different options for colors. Uh, red, yellow, green, and blue. I don't really like green, so let's not use green. But with the colors we do choose to use, we just want to place a drop um, into the milk solution. So let's start off with some blue. Oh, that looks nice. How about some yellow? Ooh, that looks nice too. Let's finish it off with some red. Okay, so now we have milk and some colors in it. But now comes the exciting part of the experiment. Let's put our Q-tip into the soap and then put it back into the milk. Wow, it became rainbow milk, right? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that, isn't that insane? It's like we're artists and scientists. We're science artists. Wait, actually, right now we're only artists, but Trevor over here is going to explain the science behind it, which will allow us to become both. Let's hear it, Trevor. Thanks, Sebastian. The science of our project is going to focus on three types of materials, hydrophobic, hydrophilic, and surfactant materials, and they all have different reactions to water. Materials that are hydrophobic, such as oils, grease, and fats, do not bind to water molecules and repel them. Hydrophilic materials, such as food coloring, more easily bind to water molecules, and surfactants, such as dish soap, reduce the surface tension of water molecules. In addition, soap molecules are made up of both hydrophilic and hydrophobic molecules, with the hydrophobic ends binding with oil and fat molecules, while the hydrophilic ends bind with water molecules. This causes soap molecules to form into clusters called micelles, which break up dirt, fat, and oil molecules, resulting in clean hands and dishes. The reaction between the soap molecules and the milk removes the surface tension of the liquid and pushes the food coloring everywhere, creating a beautiful work of art. A similar reaction is seen here, as I dip soap using a toothpick into a mixture of oil and water. As the surface tension of the water breaks, water molecules move freely, pushing the oils to the farthest edges of the bowl. And now our fellow intern, Sophia, will tell you about further steps. Thanks Trevor for that awesome explanation. Now I'm going to go over a few optional steps you could do to have some more fun. In front of me, I have different types of milk. I have whole milk and 1% milk, but feel free to use whatever types you have at home. Even non-dairy options would work. So now we're going to be doing the same thing as before, but we're changing the amount of fats in our milk. The whole milk has 8 grams of fat per cup, while the 1% only has 2.5 grams of fat per cup. Do you think we'll see a difference? Come on, let's go find out! Whoa! Look at the difference! 
The whole milk moves faster once the soap is added. This is because there are more fat molecules interacting with the soap. Now, on to George to wrap things up. Thanks, Sophia. Wow, wasn't that so cool? Let's summarize today's experiment. We took food dye and we added it to milk, and we used hydrophilic and hydrophobic properties to create some awesome artwork. We had a lot of fun and we hope that you did too. Thank you for joining us today.